Hi guys, welcome back. Great visitations here. So I am in Newbridge, County Kildare. And you can just see in front of me here, this is an entranceway into an old graveyard. And what was one time an old priory, 12th century priory. So we'll go inside and we'll have a look and read some of the old inscriptions that's in here. And it's a really warm day, but as soon as you come in here in the shelter of all these trees, it's so cool in here. The temperature is um, better. Now it's hard to read some of these, so I'm going to have to clean up some of these um, names. It looks like in that. Um, Elizabeth Riley. And of course it's covered in all the bits falling from the trees. But how beautiful and serene is this old graveyard here. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Table topped grave here. We'll go in behind and read this. So this one here says, Sacred to the memory of Reverend Nicholas Flood, parish priest of Newbridge for 33 years. He closed a life of good works, respected and beloved by all his parishioners. And he died on the 28th of May, 1816, aged 68. Isn't that a beautiful inscription? Reverend Nicholas Flood, 33 years of service. Just behind here we have another old one. This stone was erected by the Reverend Nicholas Flood, it says, in memory of his deceased friends. Particularly his uncle, Christopher Flood, and he died in 1780. So there's a lot of floods here, the names. There we have a bird feeder. Somebody is leaving the bird feeders here. You can see those ones in there are really overgrown. More flood names there. So we'll go back out and we'll continue. This beautiful one here we'll read. Sacred to the memory of Thomas Grady, who departed this life in September 1887, age 57. Also his beloved children, James, died 1878, aged three months. Bridget Grady died the 5th of May, 1880, age 7. And Mary Patricia died 1880, age 6 years. So, very, very tragic um, circumstances on that inscription here, guys. James died in 1878, only three months. So, two years after that, he lost his other daughter, Bridget, age 7. And the same year and the same month, he lost Mary Patricia, age six. How sad and tragic is that, guys? So the 5th of May, Bridget died and Mary Patricia died exactly one week later. So he lost two daughters in the space of a week age six and seven years old so rest in peace to the grady family and people are leaving stuff underneath this tree here we see um little figurines here christmas stuff a reindeer 
a little box. We have a a little tie tractor here, all underneath this tree. And I have to say, this is one of many beautiful old graveyards that I've been to. We have another fairy here as well. Underground, look at that. Fairy. So I'll leave that back underneath the tree. In here, guys. And read some more of these interesting graves. Now some of them are hard to read, you know, they're overgrown and you have the ivy covering them as well. But you can see there the, of what's left of the old building here, the priory, the wall, that's all that stands really, of the old building. The grave here. Unfortunately you can see the cross in the background it has broken away from it and fallen in against the wall you can just see the wall there that's part of the old priory the Lamb of God is on this erected by Edmund Regan it's a memory of his beloved father John, who died 1890, aged 68, and his brother John, who died in 1877, aged 12 years old. Also, his beloved sister, Mary Teresa, died 1890, aged 31 years old. Another beautiful grave. You just see a little cross here and it just says here in memory of and there's no name but we can see the heart on it there the sacred heart read this one here this stone was erected by Edmund Grady of Raspberry wow I've never heard of that place before Raspberry in memory of his wife Mary Grady who departed this life on the 12th of December 1820 age 69 John Grady's son of Edmund and there's a number of Grady names on the, look at the beautiful designs on it. Erected by Maria Shea in memory of her beloved father, Thomas Geraghty, who died in August. 1881 I think and her mother Esther died in 1890 something there as well lovely designs in that headstone stone work look at that there's one just over here in the corner kind of with a cross on top of it see this one see so can I read inscription and sadly there's no inscription on this and I have seen ones like that before where there's absolutely no um, inscription whatsoever on it so it's not a very large graveyard here guys I suppose we could read what we could that beautiful tree with all those little trinkets under it and the old graves interesting Route iron one in here. 
Patrick um, Hannon is the name on that. So that's the Hannon family grave. We have this one here. We have artificial roses here at the bottom of it. Erected by George Hannon. In memory of his father, Lawrence, who passed away in 1893, age 52, and his mother, Ellen. She died in 1901, age 47. And his brother is buried there, who died young. Also, his son, sorry, George, died the 7th of April, 1923, aged six months. And we have the Sacred Heart stone carving there. Yeah, so that's it from in here, guys. Um, not a very long video, but interesting all the same. So thanks for coming along on the walk. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you all on the next adventure. So take care and God bless.